Virgo, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 6th to the 12th of July and you are in the 8th place with 28 likes so thank you very much for your likes every little bit helps and unfortunately you are not number one because Capricorn came in with 270 likes so if you would like to be the first uh, zodiac sign uh, to be read in the week then make sure that you share and like as much as possible and if you are a cyber angel welcome back and I love you all and uh, great to see you back and thank you for your true uh, following or your uh, loyalty and I do appreciate it very much and if you're new and you've just landed on this channel then I hope you enjoy this reading as well and remember all that if this reading doesn't resonate with you have a look at your rising sign and your moon sign this is your sun sign and it's a general reading if you would like to have an extensive reading one on one then please look for the details below this video in the description box and in the top right hand corner click on that white circle with the eye and it will take you to the website there will be a new reading added on later this week um, as I uh, was asked can you do crystal readings yes I do I do crystal ball readings and I clarify it afterwards with tarot cards or lemon cards and oracle cards so there you go that's the latest news the competition has been called off as you most probably have noticed because there wasn't uh, enough animo uh, for it so um, that's bad luck so um, I'm sorry to have cancelled it if anybody's got a new idea to win the um, Shadowlands that's this deck um, and is interested then let me know and what came out of the discussion uh, on Friday night was that um, people like to interact more with me and with other cyber angels so we're going to do this again on a frequently frequent basis and get to know each other because we do have discussions about zodiac signs about cards uh, how to read cards uh, what I think about this that or the other and it's um, I've done it twice this year so it, I've had good uh, interactions and I love doing it and apparently you uh, viewers do as well so um, I'm using my nine card spread again the Quirin card overall energy card Monday Wednesday Friday Saturday and Sunday the corner cards are used for clarifying the three cards around it and vice versa you've got the angel feather this week and the crystal uh, oracle deck and the answer of the angels well don't get disheartened if you see negative cards if you follow me you might know some of the cards by now um, because every card has got two sides to it and it never is as bad as it seems and remember this is only food for thought or advice on what energy is lying around you you always remain in the position of making the decision and choices first of all you have a beautiful card and that's the overall energy or the queerance card and it's number 10 so something is coming to an end and you're going into an emotional fulfilled new phase this card means happy families uh, uh, perhaps reunions after the COVID with friends and family but you will be celebrating because usually parties are involved with the ten of cups there could we've got a crab here so this is also significant because the crab is cancer and he, they are the cups they are the sign for the cups it's actually the king of cups but don't exclude so uh, Scorpio or Pisces so one of these people might be significant to you because cancer has a shell and also Scorpio Pisces are the fish so I think it could be more enhanced on or focused on the cancer or Scorp Scorpio Monday you have the king of cups and wow I just said that the crab is cancer 
and the king is can, uh, king of cups is also recognized as cancer but don't exclude scorpio or pisces virgo you could be meeting one of them or you could have some uh, water sign cancer uh, rising or cancer moon so this could be also you that your emotions will be brought out to the forefront you might feel more emotional this week because we are still in mercury retrograde and it mercury will go direct on the 12th depending where you are of course um, but that's when Mercury will be passed and you might even already be feeling the happy vibes before the end of the week a couple of days like when Mercury goes um, um, retrograde you can usually feel that energy as well two three days before it goes retrograde things start to get wrong especially electrical goods and uh, digital things like that um, mercury is a great one for disturbing the, the computers so now everything should be enhancing towards the better again confirmation on the ten of cups something will be steady because this man is the king and he can um, balance his um, emotions that's why he is the king he has reached the uh, status of the king he's a good father he's loving he's caring he's nurturing he's passionate he could even be handsome and sexy and sensual so you might be meeting one of these people Virgo okay perhaps you already know a person like that and you might be hooked up with one of them or you might be going out with them and you also on Wednesday you will get recognition for your creativity because you've got number three and your hard work because usually this card is um, the card of apprenticeship you might have just finished your apprenticeship and you might be, if you're studying you might have got your uh, diploma or your 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 pass to go on and study on and specialize so look at you presenting your three coins you might have to study another three months or another three years but you've got recognition you've done well and people are noticing you okay people are noticing you Virgo you might even get a job offer or you might even get a rise because <laughs> you've been working really really hard and I think you might even have somebody coming back from the past giving you a present here they are having a tea party perhaps you might be celebrating something as well the passing of your end of the year with your exams um, and you might um, get together with a couple of friends you might be reminiscing about the old times perhaps in childhood times but I think you might be getting together with family and friends or with just friends and or somebody from the past and they might be bringing you a gift it could have been a soulmate because if I read it in an extensive reading and this would be the past this would be the present this would be the future so it could be somebody definitely uh, somebody that felt like a soulmate could be coming back from the past okay Virgo or perhaps you want to see that person again because you've got good memories I don't know uh, I get a feeling you could think alike um, you were sometimes too much alike so that's why it could clash now if you can balance that out then perhaps you might want uh, to think about it and talk about it if they are coming back okay um, what can you do about it but you must all both be open to discussion and if not like there's more people around here get an arbitrator that means get somebody to be a mediator to see both points of view your point of view and their point of view 
and also get somebody that knows you well enough but that is can be um, emotionally detached otherwise you will only get um, I just see this a blockage a banging your head against a brick wall because the people that love you or love them they will stand behind them so do it with somebody that is neutral now <laughs> this is reading is more of a love reading than a general reading but I have to keep it general so if it was something to do with work and you enjoyed the work um, you have done you've kept your emotions under control you've gone to for a new study or advanced in this this work that you love doing you've made it your speciality and you might be getting back with old colleagues or with an old boss an employer and you say right you know I feel at home here I think I'm a good partner in this firm and I believe I can make it work this time because I've matured a bit and I've learned for it I've done the study I've got the recognition boom here's my diploma there you are and you've crossed a lot of bridges to come this far perhaps you might have to get an arbitrator somebody to be the bridge to mend what you was, was uh, undone and that is what I'm hearing and that is also what I'm seeing back in the cards um, a bridge means that you've crossed a lot of bridge to come where you are perhaps you have to build a bridge with somebody um, to get back to them to get to their side of the story to get to their side and understand their side of the story perhaps there were things going on emotionally and they didn't have their emotions intact intact or couldn't um, balance them because there was a lot going on look at the briefcase perhaps they were doing business and they weren't focused on you and you felt left out now perhaps that has changed so keep that in mind um, and again perhaps there were secrets perhaps there were family secrets because you can see this as a family in a tea party as well perhaps there were family secrets and they didn't know it and they've discovered it now so that they have been able to become the king of uh, cups got that status and know how to do the business they know the secrets and they are back as the king so that is amazing because you have a lot of cups so this is more of a love reading like I said or an emotional reading it could be something that you were attached to and you couldn't easily let go there could have been secrets there could have been uh, even a third party um, I'm not seeing the three of cups here or the three of swords but I do see the three of pentacles so there could have been a third party intervening and you didn't know it at the time they were the snake in the grass okay they were disturbing your happiness with the other and it could be a water sign but it could also be a um, pentacle sign because there is a pentacle sign here but cups are definitely dominant Virgo so think about it who was the snake do you know that you didn't perhaps it was them that didn't know the secrets but definitely you didn't know the secrets or perhaps you were studying so hard and you want to reach the top of fulfillment emotionally um, to be balanced because 10 is balanced perhaps you this study made you out of balance wow look 10 and 10 okay and the 26 is an 8 I'm not doing the numerology or the cartomancy but it does jump out you've got a 10 here and a 10 here okay and you've got the 10 of Pentacles so you've got the 10 of cups and the 10 of Pentacles here and um, that means endings new beginnings you have your emotions together you because the king is here it could it this is your reading and you've you've got the balance this is your and uh, this is the querent card so you have reached the stage of the king whether you're Virgo or not 
you have your emotions in balance, right? You can go for what you want now, because you are in a study, you are in balance, literally and figuratively, emotionally as well, but you are, think you are missing somebody from the past. And you're trying to find that bridge, trying to find a connection. Don't be scared, so long you don't have this snake in the grass. If you have walked away from this snake in the grass, perhaps you've signed a contract, right? Watch out if you're signing a contract because you've got the snake. Look at the small print. You can't just boom, go up and leave and do a study. Perhaps there were legalities to consider and you didn't know about it. Wow. So now you're, you've sorted it out. You're back in balance. Number eight. Two in six is eight. Is the house of power. You're in your power. The house of money. You've got money. You're emotionally balanced. You've got the job most probably that you want. And you've got recognition. People are appreciating your hard work. You've come home to a safe haven. And if you've got a question, the answer is yes. Will I get back? Yes. Emotional fulfillment. Okay. And here you've got the nine of swords here. Uh, you might have had sleepless nights. But you're coming home to a safe haven. And the answer is yes. You feel safe in that position with those people or with that person, your soulmate. That could be a reconciliation. Now, <coughs> we've got the color blue, royal blue angel feather, and blue is the color of service. Look at the police uniform, look at the marines. In the olden days, the nurses used to wear blue because it's the color of service. The chosen path found. So you've found your path. That's what I just said. You've passed your first year or second year. You're feeling, uh, feeling, uh, feeling fully emotionally balanced, happy, family and friends and reunions. And you've got the money. You've got the job. You, know, you are in a safe haven. <coughs> You're done with snakes in the grass. You've most probably found out what the issue was. The angels would like to reassure you that you have definitely found your chosen path. Congratulations. You are right on track. You've come out of your head. You're not thinking anymore. You've got into action and you're literally <coughs> um, come into your own. Okay. Now, the crystal uh, oracle card is the Sessertine uh, uh, Garnet. Sessertine Garnet. Sepsartine Garnet. Some of the mouthful. I've never heard of that garnet. I only know of red and brown garnet. Sepsartine Garnet. Wow. Number 53. Again. 53 that is the number 8 because 5 and 3 is 8 so you've got two 8's mm -hmm. the meaning of this uh, sepsartine garnet is charm and charisma well you definitely got your charisma and you've got it right in order because you know who the snake is you're aware of snakes or snake situations these uh, snake in the grass. You are emotionally balanced. You are the king of cups. Okay. You can use your charisma and charm to get your happiness. You are attractive. Okay. Shining and sparkling being a brilliant beacon well I couldn't have said it in a better way of con confidence and inspires others yes you do inspires others 
Wow, that's why I think if you want to go back, you can go back because they were your soulmates and you did inspire them. Okay, it could have been a Cancer, like I said, but it could also be a Scorpio or a Pisces. And remember, they're usually uh, also s highly sensitive people and spiritual people. They listen rather to their emotions than to the uh, senses, the brain. Because <laughs> they are caring, nurturing, loving, passionate people. Every one of us is a being of light meant to shine and sparkle. Your light draws others to you, for we seek the light. Now remember that. People always turn to people that are like magnets or shine or stand out. Okay. The message of Sepsartine Garnet Spirit to embrace your natural charm and magnetism. Do not think you are not at all that special. If so, that is only because you haven't discovered your natural charisma and express it. Well, there you go. Believe in yourself. Like I said, you are back in balance. You're back in power. Wow. No, sorry. Uh, this one. The two eights. You're back in your powerhouse. So, do you have to be scared? Definitely not. Will you lose out? Definitely not, because you've got the hard work and recognition behind you. You have changed, you've got rid of that snake, and you know the biz, okay? And you might still be learning, you might still be following this course, but you know the biz, and you know what you want, and you're going for it with a straight, boom, road ahead. So, stay centered. Remember this feeling, this happy um, feeling, this emotional, ultimate emotional happy feeling. And also re that you, you stand out in the family. Happy families, that's what the card means. Parties, happy families and happy friends reuniting with family and friends, especially after the COVID. So it's coming in. All everything is coming together. If it isn't here already now your chosen path is the correct path and you know it that's what makes you happy and makes you in the status of the king of cups I hope you've enjoyed this reading take care and be blessed and please like and share and perhaps you might be number one next time and I hope to see you in the live Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And please share with family and friends. And if this doesn't resonate with you, then have a look at your rising sign or your moon sign. Take care and be blessed. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all. And I'll see you in the live. Monday, Wednesday or Friday. Ciao, ciao.